I don't want to know why you're driving by me with the window down. I'm not sure what you're doing. Is that a crime, sir? Is that illegal? Can you drive with your window down? Hello, this is attorney Darion Holloway from Shane Smith Law. And as you can see in this video, this young man was stopped for driving while his window was down. Officer Schneider, what is the nature of the stop? I don't want to know why you're driving by me with the window down. I'm not sure what you're doing. Is that a crime, sir? Is that illegal? Okay. Is it a crime? Is that a lawful stop because I drove with my window down? I gave you the reason for the stop. Who am I speaking with? Provide the driver of this car. Provide your identification. As we can see in this video, this young man correctly asked the officer what he was being stopped with. And the officer replies, because he was driving with this window down. In order to be stopped at any state in America, it must be a lawful stop. I'm here to tell you today that driving with your window down is not a lawful reason to be stopped. For what? I didn't commit a crime. Okay. Driving with the window down is not un unlawful. If that's all you got, you better get a supervisor out here. Who am I speaking with? And as we can see in this video, this young man lets the officer know that driving with his window down is not lawful, and in fact, it's not a reason to be stopped. At this point, the stop is unlawful, and this young man doesn't have to answer any questions that his officer may have. You don't need to know that. I haven't broken a law. Where are you headed to tonight? That's none of your business. It's some of my business. It's not your business. It's irrelevant to you. No, it's not. Why is it not irrelevant? This is the third time that I've seen you driving by when you drive by with your window down and you're hanging hand hanging out saying is that against the law and what we see here is an officer asking questions that are irrelevant to the stop asking this young man where he's going again because the stop is not lawful this young man doesn't have to answer any questions i'm also here to tell you it doesn't matter how many times you drive by with your window down that doesn't make it a crime suspicion for me to stop you. suspicion is not a crime you've stopped me okay. so who am i speaking with so i can you don't need to know that for what have a reason to be in this area now at this point in time is it illegal to be in this area okay. we've had crimes going on in this area and wonderful I you're a suspicious person in this area okay so okay well, you don't need to know again the officers are asking more questions trying to justify the stop asking why he's in this area and this young man does not have to answer those questions it is not illegal to drive in a public area with your window down in the morning in the afternoon or at night even more so, there's not a curfew effect that will cause an officer to ask these type of questions without there being a lawful stop. Mm -hmm. the owner of this vehicle? Unless I've broken a law, I don't have to identify. Now am I free to leave? No, you're not at this point, okay? What you're crime not. are you stopping me for? Of no, this young man asked if he was free to go and the officer says no. At this point, this young man is being detained. This can only happen if there was a lawful stop. But as we spoke before, Driving around with your window down is not a lawful reason to be stopped. Therefore, making this stop completely illegal. Advise you why you're stopped. <laughs> Suspicious is not a crime. When I've done something wrong, then you may stop and detain me. Are you the owner of this vehicle? I'm not answering any questions. Although this interaction went well, and this police officer eventually realized his mistakes, in other situations, people aren't always as lucky. If you find yourself in a position where you believe you were stopped unlawfully, I advise you to cooperate with the police and call the attorney as soon as you have the chance to. If you like learning about your rights and how to apply them, like this video and subscribe for more. Remember, hit the bell for notifications. If you need help with this or anything else, please feel free to give us a call at 980-999-9999. And as always, in pain, call Shane. In pain, so I call Shane. 980-999-9999. In pain? Call Shane.